Predicting how a fire will behave or move is an inherently tricky proposition. Researchers obviously can't ignite a giant wildfire just to observe how it behaves, and this is why simulations are crucial. By using established mathematical equations for fluid motion and combustion, researchers can accurately model how bushfires will behave under certain conditions. And these models could help governments to better plan towns and suburbs to withstand future bushfires. Physics-based simulations give us the most faithful representation of how a fire will spread. We can use the fundamental equations for factors like airflow and heat transfer, accounting for specific details such as terrain and the combustible materials to create highly accurate models of bushfires. The issue of replicating the scale of a fire has presented problems in the past for researchers and fire authorities. Testing theories using small-scale fires in a controlled setting does not always translate to how a bushfire will behave. But fire spread models, created by thousands of processing hours on a supercomputer, have proven to be highly accurate when compared to real bushfires. We're now taking this approach and applying it to ember storms during bushfire to determine how far and in what ways embers can spread during bushfires. We have developed models that incorporate the motion of embers across the ground. Much of the current science about embers assume that they travel great distances in the air, whereas observation shows that many of them move just along the ground. We believe that it's a world first to include ground-based and airborne ember movements in a simulation. We call this the creeping and lofting processes. This research is providing new insight into how ember storms and bushfires interact with urban settings. By incorporating these findings into the planning of new suburbs, researchers hope future buildings will be more resilient during bushfires. We intend to simulate different suburb designs to discover what makes a suburb most resilient to ember attack, and we're working with government partners to put our discoveries into practice. Ultimately, we hope that these models can help to save homes and potentially lives during bushfires.